Hey, it's me. I'm here today. We're going to do the YouTube video that we've been talking about for two weeks. Uh, last week there was a little incident where I locked myself out of my apartment for a couple of hours and didn't really have time to get this done. <laughs> so, um, we're going to do Paint Along with Bob Ross with a twist. Um, where's it at? I'm going to be drunk. <laughs> um, I've already been pre-gaming, as you can tell. A little red-faced, whatever. Um, I also got my canvas set up. I already went and pre-painted it, so it's nice and smooth and it's not going to soak up a bunch of paint or anything like that. But I went through YouTube and I finally found a Bob Ross video that I want to paint over along with. It's called Bob Ross Island in the Wilderness. Now, even when I'm sober, I'm not that great of a painter, but let's see if I have some hidden artistic ability real deep down. Let me start the video. Oh, have paint brushes and I found this nifty little paint saver at Walmart so we're gonna use it and we're going to get started I don't know if you can hear the Bob Ross music this is a really nice intro very elevator music skip ahead a little bit. Oh, I don't have to. The Joy of Painting with Bob Ross. And if you want to know, it's episode number 29. To the or season. Sorry. If this is your first time with us, allow me to extend a personal invitation for you to get I'm your a little nervous about this. And, your paints and paint along with us each show. And if you've been with us before, please allow me to thank you for inviting us back for another series of painting shows. We'll use about a dozen colors of some. A dozen colors? Brushes I don't have show. a dozen colors. I'll show you how to put some of nature's masterpieces right here on the canvas. So I tell you what, let's get started. Today we'll have run all the colors across the screen right there. Titanium white. But you need to paint along with us while they're doing that. Thalo green. What I've got going up here. Thalo blue. Today I'm using the Prussian blue. Inch double prime pre-stretched He has a bigger canvas than size you'd like. And I've just covered the entire canvas with a very thin coat of liquid white. He used liquid white like I do instead of gesso. It's cheaper. And to make it slick, it allows us to actually blend color right here on the canvas. Mine's not wet. Your whole paint uh. a lot easier. So let's get started. Thought today we'd just do a very simple little scene that I hope you'll enjoy. He's using let's his big brush. Two inch brush. Two inch. A touch of the lizard crimson. Number flat. Just load a little lizard and crimson. I got that. Out. Tap the bristles firmly to assure a nice even distribution of paint all the way through the bristles. So let's go right up here. Apparently you gotta get it like... And we'll take this old oh. brush and just make a little X's, little crisscross strokes. We'll just very quickly drop in just a little more important. This sky. looks better than mine. Maybe we'll have a little pink in the sky. I sort of a like little that. pink in the sky? And this is work, red, Bob. Our colors do not look... Anything. Maybe I can put some white in there, right? There. Doesn't take too long when you're using brushes two inches wide. Bob, this is not working. Oh, this looks better. I added some white. No, stop going so fast. Thalo blue. Still using a little crisscross strokes. X's. It's all they are. Little X's. X's. We'll just apply a little bit of the thalo blue. Oh, this actually kind of matches. I need a little more. I don't have enough. Now the blue. Is many many times stronger than this little pink area. It'll just eat it up. So be careful. Be careful. All over. <sighs> Why is he better at me than this? The just because I'm drunk, don't cloud. mean I can't paint. Sort of tap. Little stringy cloud just moves right there in the brush. Okay, hold on. I gotta take a break. I gotta pause because he's like really far ahead of me. Oh no. Uh, Certainly glad you could join me. Today. How do I get back to the other video? Oh, here, here we go. Concerning the joy of Okay, there. I'm pausing. Because first off, I need a drink. <coughs> That's so strong. I, I got it on sale. I don't know. Okay, so I'm supposed to be blending this together. And I'm not doing so hot of a job. I think I need more blue. Let's see. I don't think that's the right blue. Maybe it is. I don't know. It is. Okay. So I need more blue. Because apparently you're supposed to blend this. And I'm not even getting it all over the freaking painter thing. Okay. 
Why is Bob better than this? Like, I'm doing a terrible job. You're supposed to do like little crisscross X's and this is just not working. I think I need more of the pink. Oh, I didn't have pink, did I? It was supposed to be cerulean red and I mixed it. Fuck. Okay. You're supposed to make little X marks and blend it together. I just, I feel like that's too dark. Maybe I can wipe some of that off. That didn't work quite like I was hoping. I can already see this is going down a bad road. You know what? This is good. This looks exactly like what he's got. So I'm gonna wipe my brush off. I'm gonna need this. Lemon drop moonshine. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna start the video back up. Let's see. Oh, we have that on there? Okay. Let's have some water in this painting. I love water. Water. And it's very easy to paint in this style. So, this is so what we water. do next. The it's water. Level. Apparently, the water is always so level. Water. So, pull from the outside in. Pull from the outside, outside in. in. So oh. About like so. Alright. I'm not good at this. Okay. I'm gonna have a little brush point. I wanna darken the corners. Bit. I'm going to take a little Prussian blue and just add in the corners here and there. Leave it up there. And we'll go to the other side. And add a little more and then down to the bottom. We'll put a little down here too. I think this is darker than his. Each corner to darken it. I think my water's and already dark enough, the Bob. I don't part need of this help. technique is washing the brushes. Since these are oil paints, we're washing our brushes with odorless paint. Then. Apparently, I was supposed to be using oil paint. <laughs> it just beat the I think that looks That's exactly good. like what he's got so far. Now, the clean I'm going to clean my brush. It's relatively dry from just beating it. We'll start the light I can't really beat my paint. brush. There's nothing to and beat we'll it on. It Something about like so. I should just paint this with liquor. Okay. Here, Here's my semi clean brush, and he says you're supposed to go like yeah. this. All the way across. That easy. That easy. What's so His colors are not getting. This is not the same. Just a little bit of practice, a vision in your mind, and off you go. All right, that's working so well. It's not working, Bobby. A little bit of the blue. Okay, there we go. Okay, we need white and blue mixed together. So, thankfully, I already have that. Get some of the white. I need more white. Hold on. Why are there trees in this? Okay. Oh. You're supposed to do like little mountain tree like things. There, but I want to keep the bottom light so it looks like mist. You could even take this is supposed to be mist. Brush. I have several. And tap it. Okay, so we're doing this tapping technique. And then mist right down at the bottom. Yeah. And sometimes, sometimes it's a lot of fun put several layers. It helps create depth. Apparently you're supposed to do layers. We'll add a little more blue, but we make it a little darker. Gotta make it a little darker. Pressure blue to make it a little darker, but the same thing. But you do the same way underneath <coughs> where you just made your weird there. little tree things. Just touching and pulling downward. That's all we're doing. That's really all we're doing. Something about like that. Yeah, that looks exactly like what he just did. Got yeah. this. Those tub, those look like little mountains. Back to our other two inch brush. We will tap this. Create mist again. Notice the separation. It's caused because of the difference in color, difference in value. And that misty area turns out to be the very best. Clean up my brush. Take care of treasure. There. And get another drink. Okay. Let's have some more fun. Let's. Hold on, Bob. Take some black. Some Prussian blue. <laughs> 
I think we're doing yellow. Right, we just throw on there. Crimson too. What the heck? Oh, hey, red and blue. I think I need more red and blue. Oh, put the green in there too. It's getting close enough. We should begin seeing some color. He said red. Don't want it totally dark yet. Blue. There. Perfect. Okay, let me wipe the old knife off. Didn't even open that one. And let's get this fan brush. We're using a fan brush. Oh, we're using a fan brush. Loaded full of color. Hold on. Both sides. Both sides. Okay, let's go up in here. And maybe in our world, there it is. It does now. Some little trees back in here. Now these are a little closer. You're seeing a little more detail. A little more distinct. Okay, I can totally do these ghost trees. We don't know where they go. Wherever you want. That's exactly, exactly where they should live. Don't put too much detail in here. Not too, too much detail. See a lot of detail. It's probably a good yeah. idea right now. See detail, it's very close to you. When things are far away, you make out form, shape, basic color. That's all. Same detail to the foreground. How far across is he the doing these trees? Detail helps also create that illusion of distance and depth in your painting. It's very, very important. Very important. Okay. Tap He's doing these all the way across. So we will do. will create that illusion of mist down there too. There, lift slightly upward. Lightly. Just a little bit. See? Now then. You know, when I was a traditional painter, one of the hardest things to make effectively was reflections. Watch how easy. I'll take some of that same color. Oh, he's about to make a reflection. Well, take a two inch brush touch. I gotta take my two down. inch brush. I'm so behind. Go straight down. It's most important that it goes straight Wait. down. Something like so. Wet your brush a little. Because of the noise. Oh, light. we got a reflection yeah. of our trees. Yeah. Instantly. We have some nice reflections. That's simple. Now here's something that's funny. Take a little, I'm going to just use a little white. Now I'll create another plane in your paint. Take a little white. Oh, it. we need white. And it'll make little areas back here. Looks like a whole different plane, and the white will end up looking like little trunks and trees. There, easy. Okay, so you take it. Let's put a little water line. For that, we use a liquid white. Pull it out very flat, as you can get it. Cut across, okay? And we can go right up in here. And we can just drop down just a little waterline. Happy little waterline that's back in here somewhere. We don't know where it is. My mom's off camera talking about my picture. He's using a knife to cut across, and I don't happen to have a knife, so I'm just going to, like, I'm going to wing it. So he's going across, like, this waterline situation. Perfect vision in your mind. Bob, I don't even know what the fuck it's we're like any other muscle in your body. Okay, that's or close. Like that's close as we're gonna get. The more you practice, the better it becomes. Take some black, Prussian blue. I'm gonna put some phthalo green. I like phthalo green. Put a little crimson. He's got green, go. crimson, All right, and blue. I just wipe the knife on a little, little paper towel. He's using paper, paper towel, brush. so am I. Good fan brush. Load some color into it. Both sides of the brush. Both sides. Let's go up in here. We gotta use our fan brush. I forgot to clean it. Sorry. Let's have a little evergreen tree. He lives right there. See? Just make a line. Take the corner. Okay, so we're using this weird green that we just made, and we're making a pine tree, which I'm really good at those when I'm using crayons. So. Why does this not even show up? I had a lady in class one time told me. It was like making Z's, the letter Z. She called them Z trees. <sighs> that's as good of an analogy as any. Okay, there we go. From the center out. The center of the tree should be the thickest, darkest, strongest part of the tree. Because you have leaves on the back, you have a trunk in the middle. Okay. You so you start the real small at the top, and then you just get bigger as you go. And you're making a pine tree. He's making a really big pine tree. We are not. Happy accidents.
and then go across it. And we have instant reflection. That's a pond tree, guys. This is the same band brush. It has that color we made a tree out of it. I'm going to add yellow. Oh, he's using there. yellow. I'm ready. How many do we have green? There we are. Let's go over here. And we can take that green. Let's go back. Put some highlights on our Oh, we're highlighting. There we go. I need more yellow for my green. And now I need more green for my yellow. I'm not really good at this mix and color thing. Okay, so we're gonna highlight. All right, now put a little liquid white right on that same brush because I want to lighten the color and make it a little thinner. A thin paint, we'll stick to a thick paint. We mix them back up again. There we go, there's the little tree things on my island wilderness. Bob's still highlighting, but I don't need to. I think I'm good. I'm gonna get a drink while he's still doing this. That looks like a little island. Let's put some dirt there. Let's take some white, a little dark sienna. Mix them together. Cut off a little roll of paint. Here. <coughs> we'll take this. So we're using brown and making a little a island paradise sand situation, it looks like. So. It also looks like there's some green in there, so I'm gonna mix some green. something to do on the other side now let's have some fun let's have some fun i thought we already were having fun bob before i like i like old big trees let's i'm gonna add a little darker brown because i don't like it so go right up in here this is your bravery test take the corner old two inch brush and let's just begin laying in a place of shape here. Oh, he's making another pine tree tree is right there Bob just said we have to decide what lives here in our painting. So I don't know what the fuck would live here. Because I wouldn't. Oh shit. I gotta make all these little bushes. Hold on. He's way too good at this. I'm slow. I'm gonna use the mixture we used to make the other pine tree earlier, the Prussian. Bank bushes. And this is what he said to do, just kind of push over it. I need more. Most of them won't show. We'll go right into that little sap green. Oh, wait, yeah, we used green. We'll just put it right on this two inch brush. Okay. Give a little push. Good shot. Bob, slow down. Okay. Now we'll put some leaves on here. Okay. Use just the corner of the brush. Oh, my just colors aren't mixed together very well. There we go. Let's see, that's all there is to it. Just the corner. Think about shape and form. Drop these little rascals in wherever you want. Okay. He's using like a super, super good green to put in like these little tropical like Trees, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna try it. When I go home. The only power I have is over the garbage. I, I can take it to the street all by myself. But here, I can do anything. Absolutely anything. He said we can do anything we want. So I'm going to take more of the green that we used earlier. Let's get crazy. You know me. If you've been with me before, I like big trees. He said he likes big trees. I also happen to like big trees. You know what? I think adding that green to this one piece, it makes it look like a lot better. There we go. I'm going to go back in and make some more of these, which if you don't remember, these are our bushes. He likes to add a lot of bushes to his stuff. It'd be nice to have a little cabin, like right back here where all my people could live, because... Like, there's a big tree and a big tree and then bushes, but, like, a cabin right here in the middle. Classy. Okay. 
you know, I should just be dipping my brush into my drink because I feel like it would get them cleaner than what this water's doing. All we're doing once again is putting in the background color. You can put this in with a, with a paint where it doesn't matter. Sure burns. He's so, he's like four trees ahead of me and I'm running out of paint. He said to use a little brown, so I'm going to mix like all these colors we've been doing together. I like to make one massive tree color. Okay. Go back to our little fan brush. Go right through the cat yellow, yellow ochre. Go load some color into it. Let's go back up the tree. I think the more of these that I make, the better it's starting to look. Maybe. Evergreens mm -hmm. are normally darker. Other trees, so don't don't kill all the dark area. In your Although I still want to keep this one little place. I don't want to put a tree there because, like, you could put a cabin there if you wanted, or pretend there's one like right there in that little hole. The tree should be darker than the top. Big shadow areas but he's doing this thing where you take like the trees behind it and put another tree. Also, I just decided that even if he doesn't put a moon on this, I'm putting a moon up here in the corner because I think it looks classy. Yeah. What color do I want to make my tree? Like, I'm going off the rails at this point. Like, we're still doing the same idea, but I'm using different colors. You know what? I have yellow mid I'm going to use. Why do I keep forgetting to open these? So, yellow... Apparently, orange isn't like a real color because I've got orange yellow. I'm going to open that. Oh, he's making yellow bushes. I'm going to make yellow bushes. But before I do that, I'm going to make a orange tree. I can. I will take other side, I'm going to go, I got some light brown I made earlier. I'm just going to go through. See? Like that. Really See, right there. That's an orange tree. I like it. Now I'm going to use that same color to make these little yellow bushes he's got at the bottom. Got some rocks that live up there. Just some happy little rocks. He's also ha making happy rocks. I think I need gray for that. There. Something wherever. Just some indications. They won't come back. With a brush we were making the bushes with. And we'll settle those right down to the I got paint. gray. There now. Now we become part of the painting. There we go. Like so. And we'll make all kinds of little bushes and trees and happy little things to do here in our world. These are the rocks right. at the bottom that I'm making. I'd have to go fishing there. I like to fish. I do not like to fish, Bob. Sorry. Fisherman. I catch a little fish and take the hook carefully out of his mouth and put a band-aid on him. So I got a bunch of, of like, two, put him back in the water and go back and catch him again. Rocks. At the bottom of the line. You can add rocks, too. Little, the band brown. Let's have this little path. We have to walk off and we can fish it mosquitoes and get us some. He's putting a path in there, and I'm not really on board with that, mostly because I'm running out of room. White, little dark sienna. Mix it together. Make a little highlight color. Just barely touch it. Barely let it graze. Let it graze. That easy. That easy. I like so. Okay. There. And then let's put something on this side. I feel like I need birds. Do you guys think I need birds? Take a one inch brush. Now this is straight down and I'm pulling it in one direction. It's most, most important. That loads a lot of paint. I just accidentally got white in my blue that I was going to make birds with. Most important. Then we take that. You know what? I need a drink. Because I got that. Shape and form, and we create a bush or a tree. It's right there. That's all there is.
He didn't have birds in his picture, but I thought I needed birds in my picture. Oh yeah, it's got little. You can see them. I got little red flowers on the tip. Sneaky. Those are crows. There. I'm gonna add clouds now. Go back over here. He's adding more yellow. Okay. I'm gonna use Viridian, like the Pokemon City. You got your brushes warmed up yet? And you ready? You can do this. Bob, I've had my brushes warmed up. I've been painting with you for like 45 minutes now. All over the country. And so they never believe they can paint. And they're doing it. Their friends and neighbors don't believe it when they look at their paintings. You know, I could probably sell this for like at least $500, I think. The stick is right there. The old tree. Maybe. Maybe. This little tree died and he's naked now. Just a skeleton hanging out here. And that happens in And these little details are what'll make your painting look a little more finished. Take your time when you're doing these and just totally improved on that one. There and there, wherever. Take a little light brown with paint thinner on it. And when you mix this, get it very thin. This this should be almost like almost any consistency. Turn the bristles that'll bring it to a very sharp point. There it's very see good against that dark. Alright. And where it's very dark. Then we make little light trees. Where it's light, we make dark trees. Because they're, they both exist in nature. So you can put a little, I think that's a little tree that lives back here. Just has a good time. Looks out over the water. Talks to the fish. Trees don't talk to fish. That's all there is to it. Another way of making little sticks and twigs. Take your knife, just a clean, clean knife. And you can reach it. I don't even have a dirty knife, Bob. Which right was a clean one. I think that I think that's good. Here we'll make a few more in here, wherever. You decide where they live. Sometimes he's a wherever greens here have old dead limbs hanging off of them. And you can do that just with a little flip of the knife. And shoot with that, I think we about have a finished painting. Yeah, I think we're so almost easy. finished, Bob. Let's take a little bit of the paint thinner, a little bright red, and we'll sign this little rascal. Really hope you've enjoyed it. It's a very simple painting you can do and if you try i'd love to see some photographs of what you're doing so you would love to see photographs i don't think you would to us let us hear from you until then from all of us here i'd like to wish you happy painting and God bless okay us. bob's done i'm clearly not i need to sign this i'm gonna sign it in purple because i don't have any purple in my painting so I'm just going to go down here to the bottom corner. And write my name. I don't think I have enough room for my whole name. Shit. It's already too late. Anyway, there we go. Here's my painting. It's called... I forgot. Island in the Wilderness. Now, I'm not going to show you what Bob's looks like because I don't want to embarrass him. This is really nice, but if you'd like to go look it up, it's season 29, episode 1, Bob Ross, Island Wilderness. And, I mean, if you follow his instructions, you can paint something this beautiful too. With or without the liquor, it doesn't matter. You do what makes you happy. Anyway, <laughs> so next time, I just lost my paint thing. Anyway. I've already said anyway like 14 times. We're going to do um, blindfolded Bob Ross painting. Uh, and then I might actually try one sober. Who knows? It might look better. But I don't know how it could get any better than this. Watch my YouTube channel. Subscribe. Share. Get me out there. And tell me what you want to see next time. Welcome to Beauty and the Beads.